There we go. <gasps> Luna joined us. See, see her tail. <laughs> you gonna say hello? I don't know. What is up with the lighting right now? You gonna hang out with me while I do my makeup? You have some girl time? You gonna say hello? Here she is. Oh, she's purring. Say hello. She's like, it's so bright. <laughs> she looks like toothless. <laughs> Hello everybody! My name is Shreya Ninzi. Thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I have a super exciting video. We're not only doing a foundation review, we're also doing a collaboration! I'm so excited to be collaborating with the one and only Ivory Cherry! Hey guys, I'm Ivory. I am super excited about collabing with Shreya Ninzi today. My channel is also very heavily makeup and beauty related and I do quite a few wear tests as well. My skin type is oily and and sometimes combo. And just like Shrey Ninzi, we are both acne skinned angels. So after you watch this video, be sure to drop by my channel and watch my review if you want, no pressure. But if you wanted to, my channel is Ivory Cherry. That's me, Ivory Cherry. Okay, I'm done with my spiel. You can go back to looking at Shrey Ninzi now. You guys, her foundation reviews are so in depth, so detailed. Seriously, I learned so much from her. She deserves so many more subscribers and views than she has. So please check out her channel. She has amazing content if you love videos geared around acne and makeup reviews and wear tests. Sorry, there was a cat here on oily acne prone skin check out her channel please she's around the same age as me which is fantastic so if you're a little bit older and suffer with acne you know it can be a bit of a struggle and i found her videos just so helpful helpful for me personally so today both of us are going to be testing out this foundation this is the new essence pretty natural hydrating foundation i thought it'd be a good idea to do a collaboration since both of us have different skin i have a lot of acne scarring i do have some breakouts as you guys can see but I'm not as oily as I used to be because of my acne skincare routine right now. I've definitely become more normal to dry. I get a little bit oily, but my skin has changed a lot since I've turned 29. <laughs> and she has oily acne prone skin. So I thought it'd be great to test this foundation on both of our skin types to really see if this is a foundation for you. So I'm excited. I haven't tested this out on myself yet, but Essence actually sent over this ginormous PR package. They sent me every single shade. And they also sent over their makeup sponge and their foundation brush, but they sent over every single foundation shade. So if you guys are a different skin tone than me and want to test it out, DM me on Instagram and maybe I can send these over to you because obviously I can't wear every single shade. They also sent over their new tinted primer and loose fixing powder. So I'm actually going to try this primer on one side of my face with the foundation. I did use this in my full face of a drugstore makeup that I did not that long ago. So I will be testing this out with the foundation to see if it's a good pair. Let's go ahead and zoom in and get this video started. We're gonna do that, I gotta, I gotta wet my sponge. She's never sat on my lap while I've done my makeup before. She's become so much more cuddly and I'm absolutely in love with it. Ever since we moved to our new place, she's become way more cuddly and just come out of her bubble. It's a lot bigger than our old place, so I think she just feels like she has her own space and she can kind of be who she wants to be in that right? So this foundation is a hydrating foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. Um, it's supposed to have a 24 hour long wear finish, lasting moisturization, natural coverage, weightless skin feel, and it's also vegan. The shade range on this is insane. Like seriously, they have every single undertone. So I'm actually gonna do some swatches really quick. Um, so this is number four. 40 neutral vanilla oh that actually might work 50 which is neutral champagne Actually, those are so similar and then neutral honey so they're all neutral but just very slightly I don't know, I think 
neutral vanilla maybe yeah this one is like too yellow here is their makeup and baking sponge how cute is this let's feel it you guys know how i like to apply the foundation on one side with a sponge and one side with a brush and essence you guys is pretty affordable so here is the sponge sponge and it feels pretty stiff right now but it has a little bit of squish but i have to push kind of hard to squish it i haven't wet that yet and here is their foundation brush this is called the makeup buffer brush it's very cute white handle with the rose gold uh ferrule I also wanted to mention the eyeshadow that I have on my eyes is from Cara Beauty. This is the Life of the Fiesta palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. And these are the shades inside the palette. I just really, really like it. They're a smaller indie brand, so I like supporting these brands. I am a Cara Beauty affiliate, so if you do purchase anything from their website, it would help me out and help the channel so, so much. So definitely check them out. Love their eyeshadows. So I went ahead and wet the sponge. It grew quite a bit. It is still a little bit on the stiffer side. Like I have to push kind of hard um, to get, you know, some squish, but it definitely is a little bit squishier than it was when it was dry. I'm going to go ahead and put the tinted primer on. This one is in the shade Light Beige. And I'm going to put this on half of my face. Um, here, the foundation did dry <laughs> on my face a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side here. As you can see, it is tinted. Um, but it doesn't, there's no coverage to it at all. It does have a very silicone-y feeling to it. You can see my skin right now is not looking too hot. I am breaking out a lot on my forehead. I think it has to do with just stress and some other things going on. So I'll be going in with the shade 40 Neutral Vanilla. Squeezed a little bit of that on there. I'll go ahead and use the sponge try this out and this is definitely a very liquidy feeling foundation it looks like the sponge is soaking up a lot of the product and I'm not getting too much if at all any coverage I think a brush is going to be our best option yeah it's not really giving me any coverage at all so let's Oops, put this on here and try the brush. It does feel a little like sticky almost as I put a lot on. <laughs> a lot of it's getting soaked into the brush too. It almost feels kind of tacky. There it is on one side of my face. As you can see, there's not much coverage at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side with the primer. Let's see if that helps. But the foundation brush definitely feels like it soaked up a lot of product. It doesn't say what kind of coverage this has. It just says natural coverage, which I definitely would say like it's not, it's borderline light coverage up close it looks all right but i'm definitely gonna need to spot conceal i'm gonna take some on my finger and try and use it like concealer and see if i, I can get any more coverage that way so hopefully you can see what my skin looks like right now i'm gonna go in with the elf hydrating concealer under my eyes I'm still on the fence about the e.l.f. hydrating concealer because, I don't know, it doesn't do the best under my eyes. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a thicker concealer. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And this concealer definitely is not creaseless, but it's a little bit thicker, so we'll see if that helps to cover up my dark circles. So here is the Loose Fixing Powder Instant Blur Effect Natural Matte Finish. And this one is in the shade Light. It's a very, it's a very weird color. 
I like putting the loose powder kind of all in my T-zone. Then I'll just take a big fluffy brush and dip into the powder to set the rest of my face. All right, under the eyes, the powder is not looking too good. It's like a little bit too dark. Like here, it's settled right there. I don't know if I can take some translucent powder or some Laura Mercier powder and kind of fix that. But here is what the powder and everything looks like. It definitely is a natural finish. The time is 11.24 a.m. Look at me getting up super early. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of camera and I'll let you guys know what I end up using and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I have all oh, mm, I have all of my makeup on right now. I went with pink lip pink blush we got some other essence products on my face so i actually contoured with the essence contouring duo palette i absolutely love this it's a super great contouring palette for a really great price on my cheeks i have this uh, roxy palette from makeup revolution and this shade here which is a really pretty pink I have this Wet n Wild highlighter again, which has a pink undertone. I try to keep everything pink, and this one is in the shade Halo Effect. There. On my lips, I have the Sailor Moon collection from ColourPop. So this is the Ultra Blotted Lip in Bunhead, and the lip gloss in Sailor Moon on top. Again, a lot of pink going on. This is oh. I got a little stick on my teeth. Hmm. I'm debating whether to set my face or not, but my face is looking very matte. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. It definitely settled down and looks really, really good. The time right now is 11.48. Like I said, I finished putting the foundation on around 11.30, but this is what everything is looking like right now. I'm excited to see what Ivory's thoughts were because again, she has different skin type and yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what her thoughts are. But I'll go ahead and do what I do throughout the day and I'll be back to check in with you guys. So here's what the foundation looks like in natural light. I'm in front of a window right now. I'm just actually eating my lunch slash breakfast <laughs> right now, just some eggs and toast. But here is what everything is looking like. Hopefully you can see that's what everything is looking like. I also got my hair cut the other day. I got three inches cut off and I re-dyed my hair back to red. I'm thinking of going back to brown, but on the fence, I just like changing my hair color a lot, so who knows what's gonna happen. But yeah, here's what everything looks like right now. Well, hello, it is the evening now. It is 8.30, so I've had this foundation on for nine hours. I think I said I ended the foundation application at 11.30, so it's been nine hours, and you guys, I am shocked. This is the first like true nine hour wear test I've done in a super long time. My lip color is definitely deceased. <laughs> it's gone. This makeup seriously looks so good still. Like I said, I don't know. I got this big honker. I don't know where this thing came from I have a little pustule there but like it said it was a hydrating foundation I feel like this is super matte it dries down without being set I set my whole face with this loose powder when I set my face with a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I do not get this type of staying power my foundation and everything looks so good still like I'm getting barely any settling into my fine lines again this doesn't have the best coverage like you can still see some of the pustules or not pustules you can still see some of like the acne um spots coming through but where I don't have any hyperpigmentation or anything you can like it looks skin like like it said it looks natural like my bronzer and blush and highlight is still on there i wore a mask today i've done a lot today and this has held up better than i expected it to i am definitely going to be using this 
more. I'm going to be using this, I think, with my more matte foundations or the foundations that I feel like are a little bit too thick, maybe to kind of like break them down a little bit, not break them down, but to maybe thin them out a little bit. I think this is going to be a great mixing foundation. I definitely will wear this again, maybe with different products, you know, just to cover up some of the spots as it doesn't have the best coverage. But if you guys remember, this side was the primed side and I do not notice a difference at all. Like both sides look exactly the same to me which is crazy i'm shocked i'm i'm really shocked i'm interested to see what ivory's opinion is i wonder how well it lasted on her because this feels very matte to me like wow i am shocked if you have not tried this out check this foundation out um, this is what the packaging of it looks like i don't i probably i've got a pretty blurry shot at the beginning but this foundation shocked me. Thank you so much to Essence for sending this stuff over to me. This is amazing. Wow, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys checked out Ivory's video as well. If you didn't, shame on you. You need to go check out her channel. Like I said, her reviews and videos are just amazing. So check her out. And that is it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ninzi and like and subscribe if you want to see more makeup videos from me and i'll see you guys next time bye